All right, we are finally here after that fun adventure of idiot people on the roads. We got two of the trucks here. Ten Whaler is being worked on again. Doesn't want to run. I am in the lawnmower field. So for those of you that are new, go back and check out my video. Someone drove a lawnmower through my cornfield. Yeah, that was the 14 year old kid. We're about ready to come up onto the spot. I'm going a little slower than normal to show you where he drove the lawnmower through. Right there, isn't that nice? All the way over behind that house. And he ended up in that ditch right there. Yeah. And, and there's more on the other side of his house too. Yeah, he was bored, so he took grandpa's lawnmower for a, a spin through my cornfield. Yep. So, all right. I gotta get around the outside of this field, get it open. We'll get back to you. Oh, well, there's the row that's missing there where he went through with the lawnmower. The reason why I'm stopped is because that plastic chair sitting over there on the lawn. Well, apparently the dipshit decided to put that plastic chair out on in the field right in the middle of this pathway that he mowed. Like I said, you can see we're not picking any corn in that row. Here's where he looped into his yard. And oh yes, there's there's more spots down around the corner here. So I'm wondering what other surprises I'll find out in the field. I don't know if he put the plastic chair out there to go sit and meditate or what, but this kid better not be an issue for years to come. So we're gonna have a problem if he is, but anyways, we're opening up the field here on our second time around. Barb's down loading the truck, but she had a little bit left in the cart from the last place that we picked. Unfortunately, the corn is not 18 to 20 percent anymore. It's 22, 23 because of all the rain we've had. Oh yeah, there's there's another spot right there where we went through with a lot more. So, yeah, it's great. So, all right, we'll get back to you. Wave hi to everyone, Barb. You're being filmed. Look, Barb's waving. I'm eating my Oreos. We're on our second time around, as you can see. And I'm 
I'm dumping again. Yeah, that was an experience. Go around and find a plastic chair sitting in your field. Right in the mode area that he ran through with the lawnmower. Special. Uh, so there's between 55 and 60 acres on this farm, and then we got another 60 acres five or six miles east of us, and we will be done. So, but unfortunately, Sunday they call for rain. Monday they call for snow. Today is only supposed to be a high of like high 30s, low 40. And as you can see, it's windy out. So it's chilly out there.
get you some video of some corn being picked across the road from the farm that we're doing right now, or I should say the farm we just finished, dumping the last little bit onto the cart, and then I'm going to jump in the Ford and take that home. It's a red combine for you red guys, give me a little red action. I can't tell you, sorry that I'm trying to pull up to the cart here, so sorry if I'm shaking a little. Can't tell you what model it is, but got an eight-road Drago, Drago, however you pronounce it, head on it. He started there, I don't know, a little after we started over here earlier. So if you look over there, he's got another, another big field over there to do when he's done with that one. So. There you go, a little footage of a red one for you. All right, we're doing basically between 20 and 21% corn today. Our target's 15, we're at 15.2 right now. Unloading the truck out there. Yes, Jeremy, the window's still dirty. Probably never will get clean. Supervisor's keeping his eye on me, aren't you bud? Unloading the second group of trucks, and it's they didn't start till almost one today. Barb had a meeting this morning, so we'll probably get three rounds in, maybe four before we quit. Don't get loud. Oi, bees wing. So I'm just gonna call this video because it's gonna be dark soon because it's 5, pushing 5.30. Unfortunately, a couple days from now, it will be dark now because of the time change. I hate the time change. What do you think, bud? You want a bone. That's what you want, huh? Say goodbye, buddy. Say goodbye. One more thing. Look at her steam. Don't let the sunshine fool you. It was a high of 38 today. And it's down to 37 now. Going down to 20 tonight. So she's just a steaming cooking the old corn. Well, we'll see how many dummies call the fire department. Yes, that's happened around here. People drive by in the middle of the night. Farms and oh, something's on fire. Dumping on the go. Got my cousin RJ driving the tractor tonight. 23 years old. He's an old pro with this. Barb, she's running trucks right now. So, getting it done. Barb doesn't like to dump on the go, so we don't dump on the go with her. RJ's good with it. 